Good morning. My name is Harry Craighead, and we welcome you this morning to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry that focuses on your soul and your eternal destination. Today we're going to talk about the good or bad outcome of an undertaking, the opposite of failure, the status of having achieved and accomplished an aim, purpose, or objective. We're talking about success. Yes. The secret of success could be learning at an early age that we are not perfect. Amen. Time spent in prayer will yield more than that given to work. Prayer alone gives work its worth and its success. On earth, we have nothing to do with success or its results. But only being true to God and for God, for its sincerity and not success, which is the sweet savor before God. Amen. Don't think of today's failures, but of the success that may come tomorrow. If a difficult task is set before you, you will have success if you persevere. Amen. Satan's greatest success is in make, making people think that they have plenty of time before they die to consider their eternal welfare. Mm. And to take with us today, a person is successful when they have learned to live for Jesus, yes. laugh at Satan's temptations, Amen. and love as God has commanded. Amen. What is success? Most people define success in the terms of achieving goals or acquiring great wealth, having prestige and favor, or having high status and power. To the world, success or successful people enjoy the good life. They appear to be financially and emotionally secure. They're surrounded by admirers, and they enjoy the fruits of their labor. Everyone wants to be successful. No one is born desiring to be a failure. When you ask a child, what do they want to be when they grow up? They don't say, I want to be unsuccessful. They usually dream of meaningful careers like firemen, policemen, doctors, lawyers, businessmen, or even superheroes. Mm. God's measure of success involves our obedience and faithfulness to Him, regardless of opposition and personal cost. Amen. His measure of success is whether or not we are being loyal to Him in our personal relationship with Him and in our life. Success is obedience to God, empowered by the Holy Spirit, motivated by love for God, and directed toward the advancement of the kingdom of God. Success begins with obeying God's commandment to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Initially, Jesus appeared to be, totally, be a total failure. That is, if you measure his life here on earth by people's view of success. Jesus had little material possessions. He didn't own a, own a home. He was rejected by most people and was even hated by some. The religious leaders of the time despised him. Even his friends, those closest to him, deserted him. Yes. Jesus was accused and found guilty of things he didn't do. He was beaten, spit on, cursed, mocked, suffered terribly, and died the most horrible kind of death known to man at that time, Amen. death on the cross. Yes. If you measure him by the way most measure success, then Jesus was a total failure. But in God's eyes, mm. the redemption and salvation of all mankind was accomplished through his son, Jesus Christ. By God's grace and great love for you and I, he sent Jesus to pay for our sins. Amen. And now the gift 
of a restored personal relationship with God and eternal life is ours. All because of Jesus Christ. God calls, God's call for us is to be his loyal friend. To accomplish his purpose and goals for our lives. The incorrect definition of success will hinder your influence for God. And worst of all, it may destroy you. Many people have thrown in the towel and quit because they felt like a failure. Satan beats people with a failure stick. He brings up all the people have done, all the people we have let down, all the money we have wasted. All the times we just blew it. He tells us things like, you just don't have it in you. Or, you aren't like those people. He even says, if they were in your situation, they couldn't have made it either. And what about this one? You must have misunderstood God's leading. What were you thinking? He tells us things like that. Instead of considering and focusing on Satan, focus on your fellowship and partnership with God yeah. in his kingdom work and mission. Yeah. Focus on faithfully following Jesus and obeying him. God will make sure that you are successful and fruitful in your life. And it will bring glory and honor to him. Through scripture, we know that God wants us to succeed in this life. By growing and relying on our faith and trusting in the Lord, we can be strengthened to fulfill His will for our lives. This is true success. It's focusing on what is eternal rather than what is temporary. It's being transformed by the work of God in our lives, minds, and hearts. Success isn't measured in a moment. It's measured over a lifetime. Amen. You can lose the inning, but still win the game. Amen. It may look like you are failing today, but if you have a biblical definition of success, you can stay on track fulfilling God's will for your life. Focusing our hearts on God and allowing Him to do His transforming work in us are what count for truth biblical success. Amen?